All right, what's going on, family? I hope y'all doing great. So we got a news. Remy Ma's son has been arrested and charged for a first-degree murder for a crime that took place in 2021 in South Queens, Jamaica, New York. So let me go read the news uh, uh, from ABC News Live, right? So ABC says rapper Remy Ma's son, Jason Scott was arrested Tuesday for the June 2021 murder of a man in Queens. Though, yo, I got a question, man. Um, who was Remy Ma's first baby daddy, though? Who's Jason Scott's father? Because before you know the show, I tried to do my research. I couldn't find anything, man. I type in anything, like I try everything. Remy Ma's first baby daddy. Remy Ma Jason, blah, blah, blah. Remy Ma, I couldn't get none of that. I don't know this guy being, you it's know. It's 6 o'clock. Okay, I get it. Um, This guy has been very, very low-key. Remy, Remy Ma never spoke about him, none of that. So the only thing that keep popping up is Papoose, man. Also, if y'all know Papoose and Remy Ma, they're not together no more. Allegedly, Remy Ma cheated on Papoose with Easy the Block Captain. Is the Block Captain. He's a battle rapper from New York. You know, he works for Remy Ma. So, you know, Remy Ma has been getting here. Uh, chick claps, but he's the block <laughs> captain like this. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, oh, man. Papoose, my boy. But anyways, I'm trying to make the connection because, um, you know, I'm trying to see if this is something that, you know, Jason got it from his parents, though, because Remy Ma was arrested. And, um, you know, I'm trying to find out if... um. Jason's um, father was arrested as well because Remy Maga uh, was pregnant with Jason super young. She was like 17, 18 at the time, so she didn't know much. But let me continue, man. Scout 23 has been charged with first-degree murder for allegedly shooting 47-year-old Dar Darius Gullibo following a dispute on June 7, 2021. According to the New York Police Department, Richard Sweetheart's 2022 was also charged in the same murder. So Richard, that's um, Jason Scott, Remy, my son's friend, they committed a crime together. So allegedly, you know, based on the news, what I heard, you know, that the guy who got shot was actually a drug lord, one of the, the dudes in New York, one of the them guys, you know, one of the top dogs, um, selling their, you know, that cocaine or whatever I can name it. So also I heard that. The shooting was a higher, you know, they got hired to to commit a crime. So it was not like they had a direct beef um, with the guy, unless I'm stay, unless you know, unless, unless I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, please, y'all yeah, can correct me. That's fine. But from what I heard, you know, it seems like they were hired to commit a crime. So, in addition to the first degree murder, Scott has been charged with second degree murder, two counts of criminal possession of a weapon and first degree reckless endangerment on um, Swigert only faces one murder charge. So the friends only facing one murder charge, but on um, Remy my son is facing more charges. So just looking at looking at this man, he's now getting less than 10 years. Unless he gets good lawyers, but he's getting at least 10 or more. At least 10 or more, that's for sure, though. That's for sure. Even, you probably don't give him 20. I don't even, I like 20 or 25, man. That's sad to see a young brother at 23 just throwing his life away. You know, I don't know if that has to do with, like, you know, him not having both parents, you know, in his life. Because Remy Ma was away for six years. Six years, Remy Ma was into uh, his life like that. Like I say, I always say, man, our kids need both parents is very important they don't need one they need both parents in their lives it's very important both parents need to be in the kids life man you might not be together but at least you know it happens you know there are people out there who have been divorced or separated you know the relationship didn't work out that's great that's fun but you always have to try your best to be in your kids life man there are people live with their kids but they're not even their kids life so it doesn't matter if you guys live together now, but you just need to be in the kid's life because that helps a lot. Um, that's why I asked at the beginning if, uh, because the kid was raised by his father most of the time, 
for the most part, I'll say. So I wanted to know if the dad was on the streets as well, because if the dad was home, you know, disciplining the child, things like that probably wouldn't happen. And it's funny to me because, yo, Remy Ma am broke, though. Remy Ma got some bread. So he didn't have to be on the street doing this type of things, knowing that your mom has a lot to lose and your mom has a name and she got a little bit of bread. You need some, go to your mom. Unless their relationships are kind of rocky, they're not in good term. I don't know about that one. But um this very this was very unnecessary for him to do it. Allegedly, if he did it, it seems like he did it. But uh yeah, that's just that's just my point though. It's like, man, um, but he's not convicted yet. He's arrested, he's charged, but he, we still have to wait until he get convicted so we're gonna find out. The biggest, the biggest, the biggest.